everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Today we're going to discover the simplicity and beauty of white on white card designs. A few of the things that we're going to be working with. We're going to start with a Brass and Bliss Foliage Trio die set. This is new to me and we'll be focusing on this die here in the middle. All of our cardstock is Recollections white cardstock. I will be using 110 pound as well as a 65 pound card. I cut a few pieces of cardstock on my Cricut Explore Air 2 just to see what I could do with them. And I also have a piece of crinkled cardstock. I'm not sure if you can see how textured that is or not. Um, I've had a pack of this paper for absolutely years, and this is all of the white that I have left. I've also embossed a few card fronts, so we can do some fun things with these as well. So let me go ahead and get this cleaned off, and then we'll get started with our projects. Let me show you my inspiration for this video. I have been enamored with white on white designs for quite a while now. And when I picked up this die set, I thought, oh, I can finally make that card front. So I cut out four of these leaf branches and I just adhered them to my card panel and it just looks really pretty. So if we were to put it on a card base, then it would be just like that. Now to give it a little bit more dimension, I might put this one up on some foam tape. And then my sentiment would go right here in the middle. Now depending on what sentiment it is, I could stamp it just right here in the center. But with that being said, let's go ahead and try some other things. So I already have a handful of these foliage leaf pieces cut out from Recollections and I just have them here in a scrapbook.com envelope. So I'll just put that off to the side so I have it handy. And let's start working with this piece of crinkle card. I'll bring in the packaging so you can see what that is. Uh, hopefully the glare isn't too bad on that. Uh, this is Wasa paper, W-A-U-S-A-U -A paper. Um, it is crinkled. It is very pretty. Um, I haven't used very much of it, but when I have, it's given me some beautiful results. So let's go ahead and cut this piece down a little bit. So our card bases are typical A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And this piece of white card that is left is just a little bit over three and a quarter. So let's just cut that exactly at three and a quarter. And I'm using my Tim Holtz eight, eight and a half inch guillotine. I think it's eight and a half. Uh, so let's see, the card is five and a half inches tall. So let's, let's see what happens when we cut this at four and a quarter. So it'll be three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then that will go in the center of our card. And I don't have any sentiments chosen for this project or any of the projects. So we'll probably not put those on. I will most likely wait until I actually need the card and then I can put a sentiment on it. And I actually 
like how this looks. I like that. So let's go ahead and we will glue our leaf down onto this white panel. And I am using art glitter glue. I need to refill this bottle, but can't quite get the lid off. So I'm going to have to have my husband help me with that when he gets home. So I'll put a little bit of glue on there. And then I'm just going to put this off to the side. And because this is textured paper, I'm definitely going to use some score tape to make sure that gets completely glued down. All right. And there is our first, our first card. It's very simple, it's very clean. Um, a sentiment right along the bottom here would be nice. Maybe another, maybe a sentiment up here, or maybe it doesn't need a sentiment at all. So there's our first option. So another card we could do is we could easily just add on an embossed panel. And then we could take one of our leaves and add it on there. Another super simple pattern. And then with a sentiment strip. Or before we put the flower on there, we could take another flat piece. And I don't obviously have this cut to size. Well, let's go ahead and cut it to size. Let's just chop this one down a little bit. We'll use it as an example. So we will cut this piece down to five inches by three and three quarters. And then we could add this on here, or obviously we would cut this down even farther. So let's just adjust our measurements a little bit here. Um, we'll take it down to three and a half by four and three quarters. And then we would be able to see a little bit more of the Swiss dots panel. And we could layer it on like that and then add our leaf on there. It looks all right. It's not bad. Not my favorite. So let's take a look then at the Tim Holtz Alterations Bricked Embossed Panel. And then we could layer that onto a white card. And then put the leaf over that. And then we could put a sentiment down here. Now that I like. So let's go ahead and put that on a card. Um, for this, I am going to use 3D foam squares. Give this a little bit more dimension. but not so much dimension because they are the thin foam squares. I'm not a huge, huge fan of really thick foam. And then for a little extra adhesion, we'll put a little bit of glue on each foam square and that'll 
give us time to adjust the panel on the card. Okay, we have that down. And then we can lay down our leaf. Now I also cut out two pieces of vellum and that might look nice as well. Put that down first and a little bit of shadow over the top. I like that. I think that looks nice. So let's go ahead and adhere that down. So this is going to be a little bit tricky because of course any type of adhesive will show on vellum. So we will just basically go down this center and at the base of the leaves. And hopefully the recipient will be so enamored with the entire card that they won't notice the adhesive. <clears throat> okay, so we'll put that down. And then we will add some glue to this branch. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we will lay that over the top. All right, so there we have another option. And again, we could put a sentiment strip down here at the bottom. So there's that one. Now let's play with some of these cuts that I made. Um, I designed these on, or I, excuse me, I designed them in Affinity Designer. And they are, you know, just very basic pieces. These four, you can line them up and make a lattice, or you can use them by themselves, either way. And then I have this piece here with an extra element down here that you could stamp your sentiment on or glue a sentiment strip to. Um, so let's kind of jazz that up just a little bit before we put it on our card. I'm going to bring in my Martha Stewart scoreboard. I don't believe you can get this particular board anymore, so I will link down in the description and in the corresponding blog post uh, some other options. So this panel was cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. So let's do a score line right at three and one eighth. Just to kind of give that a definite transition. Now let's do two. And then we'll also do one at three and a quarter. We'll get that out of the way. Now I definitely had a horizontal card in mind with this one. So we can do it like this with the embossed line or debossed lines or we could turn it over so that we could actually see the lines a little better. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to glue this directly to my card front. All right, so we have that there. Let's get out a couple more of our 
die cut brass and bliss leaves. And then we can put one right there on the side. Maybe we could put two of them on there like we did before. No, nope, not a fan of that one. So we'll just put one on here and that will still leave us plenty of room for our sentiment at the bottom. All right, so what do we think of that? Pretty nice. Okay, so let's do another one with an embossing folder. This is with the Cuddlebug Divine Swirls embossing folder that has been in my stash since probably the very beginning of my card making career. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Martha Stewart scoreboard again. And I want to put a couple more lines on here. So again, I will start at three and an eighth. And then that really gives us an end to one piece and a beginning to another. And then for a little extra something something, let's go ahead and do some lines up to our first score. So I'm going to score every quarter of an inch. Okay, and then we will come back and do one more score at three and an eighth. Okay, so I did take that back to the scoreboard and I deepened some of these score lines. I wasn't quite happy with them. So let's get another card base here. And that already looks beautiful. So I do have some white offray ribbon. And I think I'm going to cut a piece off here. I have my Cuddlebug scissors that aren't very sharp, obviously. <laughs> so I think I'm going to line this up right above that bottom or right above this horizontal score line so that it lands right on top of that. And that will be really easy because it's on the back side as well. We'll take a little bit of score tape on the back here. All right. And then I will use some more score tape on the back here. And then I'll go ahead and add my little leaf branch right here. Actually, I think I might put this up on some of the thin foam squares. I'll use the little ones for this. Now I'm not going to be able to put any on this stem, but I think that'll be all right. And then a couple little drops of glue on each foam pad. And I'm even going to put a couple little drops on the bottom stem. I don't mind that that would be glued down. And there we go. I have a plan for this card already. So I don't 
want to put a cinnamon on this one, but I could put a little cinnamon strip down here on the bottom, or I could put one up here. Either way, that would be fine. So the last thing I want to do is I'm going to take just a card panel. And I believe this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And it is. Um, I think I'm going to trim this one down a little bit. So I will take this down to four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to bring my scoreboard back in. But I'm not just going to do straight lines. This Martha Stewart board has a triangle that you can add on here if you want to do envelopes. So I'm going to do a little bit of diagonal scoring just to see what I can come up with. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and put it up here in the corner and let's let's just start let's just start here and we will go every eighth of an inch all right so we have that now let's go ahead and get rid of that and we'll do a couple of diet or a couple of straight lines. So we'll come up here to half an inch and we'll do a few lines going down. There. That is different. I like that. So we will get that board out of the way and bring in another card panel. So we can do this two ways. We can have the diagonal going from the top right corner off to the side, or we could turn it over and have the heavy side on the open side. I don't really like that. So we'll go ahead and put it on like this. We'll go ahead and get that taped down. All right, so we have the start there and then we'll get out another leaf. And I think I'm just going to put it right there. Or I could put it down a little farther. Or I could slide it over a little bit. I think I like it right there. So we'll go ahead and get this glued down. Now the fun thing with designs like this is you could put this leaf anywhere you like and it would be absolutely beautiful. You could add flowers to it. You could put a cluster of leaves on there. <clears throat> and again, the sentiment would look really pretty right here. Or you could put one up here. You could put it right across the center of the leaves. And there you go. So I did decide to put sentiments on these cards after all. Rather than using a stark black ink, I did grab my Distress Ranger Archival Ink in Hickory Smoke. And I think that is a nice subtle shade. So the first card I want to show you was with my original card panel. And if you will recall, all of the leaf shapes are cut with the brass, brass and Bliss Foliage Trio die. 
And the Enjoy the Little Things stamp is from the Crafter Square, the Little Things, that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. The next card is with the Crinkle Cardstock. And the Sentiment Life is Better with Friends is from the Altenew Leaf Canopy set. The next card is just with the embossed lines from the Martha Stewart scoreboard. The Thinking of You Sentiment is from the Honeybee Stamps Everything Wonderful set. This is a very nice set. I like, I like that floral design on there. The next card is with the Tim Holtz Alteration Bricked Embossing Folder. And the Sentiment Wish You the Most Beautiful Day is from the Alta New Beautiful Day stamp set. The last card with a sentiment is with the panel that I cut on my Cricut Explore Air 2. And I have two simple embossed lines down here at the bottom. And the stamp set is the Stampabilities card phrases. So for my last card, I knew from the beginning that I did not want a sentiment on here. If you recall, I embossed half of the card with the Swirls embossing folder. And then I have simple lines embossed with the Martha Stewart scoreboard. And then I just have a simple piece of off off-ray white ribbon as an embellishment. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'm curious, have you ever made a monochromatic card? And if you have, have you ventured into white on white? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. I am going to take some better photos tomorrow on a darker background, so they'll be easier to see. And you'll be able to find those in the corresponding blog post at coloradolean.com. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a fantastic day. Bye.